Hey guys, c Max signing in and today I'm going to be bringing you my first squad builder related FIFA 17 video. Now as you've probably seen by the title, I'm going to be bringing you the best possible Bundesliga squad builder you can build at the start of FIFA 17. So hopefully you do go on to enjoy this video. Once the game's fully out, this is a team I'm going to try build and play with. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. If we can get 150 plus likes, that would be amazing. And I'll keep bringing this daily content for you guys. Now the formation I'll be building this squad around is the 4 3 3 4 variant formation that's the formation with a camp in the middle you see the full team as i get to the end of the video but i'll go through all the players individually and then show you a full summary of the whole team at the end with that said the first player i'm going to talk about is the highest rated player on the team and that is no other than manuel neuer manuel neuer's card this game looked insane if i'm correct he's been bumped up by two ratings from fifa 16 he's now a 92 rated card which is just insane 89 diving 89 reflexes 90 handling 60 speed which is actually very fast for a goalkeeper 95 kicking and 91 position his stats are actually out of this world and he will no doubt be the best keeper in the game that's why he's made it into this team there's no other keeper that could obviously take that spot onto the defenders i'll start with the highest rated one and that is boateng boateng is now a 90 rated card if i'm correct i think he was 87 rated in fifa 16 not too sure about that but you know round about there and now he's a 90 rated card which is just insane 79 9 pace 68 dribbling 50 shooting 90 defending 85 physical and 72 passing are his stats i mean he'll be one of the top if not the top defender in the game because with those stats it'll almost be impossible to get past as he's fast he's strong and he's just generally a tank next in terms of rating on the defenders we have no other than philip lam he's been boosted up by one rating he's now an 88 rated right back meaning he's also had a position change from cdm if i'm correct his stats look fairly okay i mean the only thing that lets him down is his pace but apart from that but decent defending stats with 86 defending 82 passing as well as 84 dribbling which is fairly decent in the right back and next to him we have Hummels who's actually transferred to Bayern Munich towards the end of FIFA 16 he was boosted up by a one rating he's now an 87 rated card once again his pace kind of lets him down just the same as Lam did with his pace but apart from that his defending stats are insane he's got 88 defending which is very strong and 77 physical which isn't the strongest but good enough to allow him to kind of push players off the ball Hummels is actually going to be a decent player to use in terms of whether I'll actually use him a lot in my Bundesliga squad I don't think I will mainly because his physical and pace aren't the highest but he is the second highest rated centre back which is why he's made it into the team over on the left side we have Alibo his 86 pace 83 dribbling 83 defending and 81 pace that's pretty much his main stats on his card he's pretty much been boosted up by two ratings from an 85 rated card in FIFA 16 to an 87 rated card now definitely deserves it in fifa 16 he had a few position changed cards such as a cdm card center back card but left back in my opinion is his best position onto the midfielder starting us off once again with the highest card we have vidal he's now 87 rated meaning that he's actually gotten a plus one upgrade for himself he's got 77 pace 79 dribbling 81 shooting 84 defending 80 passing and 84 physical i mean all his stats are pretty much balanced i mean his lowest base card stat is his pace which isn't even that low for a midfielder vidal is going to be a tank to use but let's be honest he's always a tank to use next in line we have mario goatse playing at cam another card i might have placed here is muller's card if i took it from a center forward to a cam but you know goatse's card is actually a calm card and it's 84 rating meaning that they didn't downgrade him or upgrade him he's exactly the same and to finish off our midfielders we have tiago he's a player who i actually used a lot of in fifa 16 he's now 84 rated which means that he's been hit up with a plus one upgrade which is actually decent for a player that played as well as he did last season 89 dribbling being his best stat with 82 pace 75 shooting 72 pace he doesn't have the best stats out there in terms of a good balance in terms of always stats such as the Dow had but he is a good card and getting on to the big boys up top we have the highest rated player up front at striker in Lewandowski this guy has now got a 90 rating and bearing in mind he started FIFA 16 as an 87 rated card that is insane he was boosted up by three ratings throughout FIFA 16 I pretty much lost count of how many special cards this guy had I'm pretty sure he had more than six or even seven special cards because last season he pretty much bossed the freaking league but looking at his card 
Carl has got 81 pace, 87 shooting, 85 dribbling, 82 physical. And as his main stats, they're pretty much OP. I can't wait to get my hands on this guy. He might not be the fastest of strikers, such as players like Aubameyang, but I'm sure this guy will be a great player to use. And onto the wings now, starting us off, we have Marco Rice, the 88 rating. I mean, that is insane. Given the fact that it was an 86 rated card at the start of FIFA 16, he's actually done well for himself, even though he would probably give himself like a 93 rated card or something. If you watch the EA trailer where, you know, players were giving themselves card rating, you know what I'm talking about. But besides the point, his card looks insane. 90 pace, 86 dribbling. Hold up, hold up. Before I move in with the stats, I mean, 90 pace and 86 dribbling. This guy will pretty much be able to go past anyone. On top of those stats, he also has 85 shooting, 84 passing. I mean, he's the perfect winger. And not just that, will be the highest rated left winger in the Bundesliga at the start of FIFA 17. And I'm actually very excited to get my hands on this card. Oh, on the other side, we have Iron Robin. Now, in comparison to the other players, he's actually been downgraded. I mean, he went for a 90 rated card to an 87 rated card, which is pretty poor. Took quite a bit of beating on his pace and also his dribbling went down as he used to have 92 pace, 92 dribbling, as well as 86 shooting. And now he only has 86 pace, 90 dribbling and 85 shooting, which isn't the best. Nevertheless, he's still the highest rated right winger in the Bundesliga, which is why he's made it into this team. And when it comes to the game, even though I might try this team out, he won't be the player I keep in that position. I'll probably go for someone like a Bellerabi because Bellerabi is quite pacey. Anyways, this is the full team as you guys can see on the screen now beside me. Like I said at the start, I'm rocking a 4-3-3 formation with a 4 variant. Looks fairly okay. This is definitely a team I'm going to try out in FIFA 17. Hopefully it performs well for you guys. Anyways, let me know down in the comment section what you think of the team. What did you think of this video? And do you want to see me do more videos like this? you want me to cover more leagues? If so, what leagues? Let me know. Once again, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If we get 150 plus likes, that would be amazing. I actually kind of enjoyed making this video. This will be the best possible team you can actually build in the Bundesliga at the start of FIFA 17. So yeah, hopefully some of you guys try it out. I know I will. That's pretty much about it from me today. If you want to talk to me outside YouTube, I'm on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. All links are down in the description as per usual. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe as I'm going to be uploading daily for you guys. For today, this is T-Max signing out. Thanks for watching and see ya. Let me see that